Hello again and welcome to Intergalactic League Fishing Season 4. We are on day 12, I believe. Yes, day 12. Uh, I am currently in second place now after a good showing here in yesterday's tournament. Uh, we, we are one point ahead of Arcraft, who came in fifth. And five points back from Smarmy Jack, who is in first. So we have <clears throat> four days left. Uh, day 12, day 13, day 14, and day 15. To make up the remaining five points if we want to tie for first in the regular season. And then we have the off-season playoffs, which are going to be a new thing this season. Wherein the top six... Uh, people in the tournament will face off head-to-head -head over a three-day uh, little bracket thing to, to take the ultimate title, I guess. Although, really, the person who gets first is still going to get a title as well. I think there's going to be two uh, titles up for grabs, technically, so... Uh, but anyway, let's get into today's tournament and see what we can do, see if we can make up some points. So let's, let's get in there. I don't think I fixed my lures up, so here we go. Do that real quick. Got a little dark, dark, uh, lake here. At least the land is looking a little spooky. So we've got what looks to be a medium or a big fish in the vegetation. Oh, what is that? I want more of that. What is that fish? Let's go here. Let's check the deep water real quick before we continue on with uh, looking for this guy. Oh, wow. That's promising. Here, let's just change our sinking lure real quick to have a 62. It's stationary, so we're just going to leave it. Should get some bites here. Or we'll just get nothing. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to get the alchemist and switch to it, even though I don't have info yet. Because these... Oh, what are you? Oh, no, I got to save that fish. I can't... I'm not getting the alchemist. I forgot to get the alchemist. Whoops. What is that? Oh, my goodness. Oh, 
Okay, he's big. All right, now we got the alchemist going. Let's go. Interesting. Yes, I just dissected a seven pound fish, so we better. better. Uh, be prepared here. It's pretty close to the center. It's gotta have a weird size value, though, I'm feeling. have a weird size value. I am curious about this other fish though. So we pulled up an eight pounder. Oh, I guess I can see in my inventory, can't I? Now that I've got it's the size revealed, I can see the bar. Yeah, so it's not worth going for. Okay, yeah, weird size value. We just got lucky getting an eight-pound <laughs> eight version of it right off the bat. Okay. So we're going to do... We're going to have to do a half size for sure. Size factor is halved. And we're going to have to probably do something like this. It's getting pretty close. It's tough to get these numbers just right, though. We have to use some bigger pieces. I think we're just going to have to go oversize a little bit. Yeah. That should be good if I get this 60 on all the rest of these. Yep, 100%. Okay. Now we should catch some fish. We should catch some fish. We're gonna get some big ones. Only seven pounds are better. These guys, they have potential. We're just gonna have to hook them. And we're coming up on a feeding activity. So high feeding activity will be helpful here. this in. Let's come over here and see if we can get in this little pool. This little, little pool over here. There we go. That's what we need. I think we'll do all right in this tournament. I really do. I think we will. Oh, it's 11 pounds. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna have to down, down speed reel on this one. 
reeling him in at four so we don't break it. Very good. Nice, we got a great start. We got four hours, 15 minutes left. high feeding activity so we should start getting some more bites more quickly hypothetically kind of a mid-range mid-low visibility Okay, there we go. Came out of nowhere, but we'll have to go back to this big one for the feeding activity. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Uh oh. Just be patient. Just be patient. I don't know if I can be patient. As we get nothing. All right, let's go check out this yellow splotch here. There we go. Could be more hanging out here than we think, even though it's not as deep as the other two areas, just because it's a large splotch of yellow. Yeah, yeah. Reel them in, reel them in. Now, realistically, here we've got six fish. Is this five point? 0.89, we're going to definitely need to replace that. So, okay, here we go. This will put us at seven decent catches. Just need to get one more big one, one more decent size, and we should be in a good position. Everything after that will be bonus catches in a way. Coming up here on the end of feeding activity. Still got a little bit more. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
Here we go. This is our new biggest one. Can't really reel it in. Maybe on a one reel speed. It's going to take a while. Might as well just do our letting off and just do five. It's going to be faster that way. Should be like a 14 pounder. Right around there. All right, that gives us a 7.7 .7 pound as our lowest, which is very respectable on any lake, really. This should kick that out. This is about an eight something, between eight and nine pounds. All right. Now we have a 7.78 .7 as our smallest fish. We'll attempt to get rid of that. A lot of good bites in this area. Do still feel like maybe we're missing out on the big catch, you know what I mean? Like, this is a good lake to maybe have a 15, 16 pound fish in there somewhere. Maybe even an 18 pounder if you get real lucky. This is not really worth reeling in, but I want to move to a new area anyway. I'm going to try this little orange dot over here. Not really getting much here. head up here real quick. Haven't given this little spot a try. Alright, we are now low on time. Very low on time, so probably if we were to get a bite right now, we might have time to reel it in, but not really. So it looks like we're going to be at 77.84 pounds for an ending weight. That's not bad. Here, maybe this... No, this is not big enough to, to matter. Yep, so that's about it. Hopefully that's enough to give us a good spot, maybe? I don't know. Let's find out. Yep, right up there on top, once again... We're doing a lot better near the end of the season. It, uh, we still have to have Beef Heart go, and I think Beef can do well on this lake. I think Beef has a chance to do real well here. He can probably... He can at least make second or third place, I think. Hell, he can make first place. What am I saying? Beef's capable of beating this score, too. All right, well, that's going to do it for me today. This should uh, put us much closer. Um, I think we were five points back. Now we'll be three points back. So at, at minimum, if Beefheart uh, takes one of these uh, second or third spot, that would make him, that would make me two points back um, going into the last uh, four days. Or three days? It's the 12th. 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th. The last three days. 
All right, that's all I got. Thanks for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.